When capturing an image with a camera, you have a lot of creative control over focus. Starting off, you have a lens that makes things either sharp or blurry. You also have the f-stop and shutter speed. These camera controls have major influence on how sharp and or blurry things appear. In this series of videos, we will be working with focusing and blurring techniques in Photoshop that simulate the things you can do with your camera. Hopefully by the end of the videos, you will be able to use blur filters to enhance images, demonstrate the ability to select and apply filters when appropriate for overall composition to improve composition, fix image capture errors using blur and sharpen filters, and, as always, practice non-destructive editing by combining basic blur and sharpening filters with layer masks and smart objects. Before we get started, it is important to point out that there are many ways to do similar things in Photoshop. During this lesson, we'll talk primarily about refocusing an image, either blurring or sharpening it via filters. Since there are so many different ways to do similar things in Photoshop, the key to being successful is knowing when to use these different options and to follow good practices as you do. So let's get started. Beginning with the question, what is focus? Focus is defined as the clear, crisp, and sharp area in an image. When taking pictures, it's created by the focal point of a lens, by moving the focus ring on the lens. Focus is determined in combination by focal point and focal length settings. Focus is often described by depth of field, which is the distance between the nearest and farthest objects in a scene that appear acceptably sharp, crisp, and clear in an image. More simply defined, it is the focus range or range of sharpness. These settings can be adjusted when capturing an image or after the fact by manipulating the image in a graphic arts software application like Adobe Photoshop. What's the purpose of refocusing or adjusting the focus? Well, imagine focus can be used aesthetically to enhance the overall image artwork. It can also be used for technical reasons like ensuring the image prints or displays correctly. It can even be used to hide sensitive information in an otherwise presentable image. Typically, the key reasons to adjust focus include to enhance image, composition, subject matter, interest, highlight key elements, etc. To correct mistakes in capture like lens errors, to prepare artwork for output like offset printing where ink tends to spread when it hits paper so pixels are sharpened, made smaller before printing occurs, and to hide sensitive information like license plates or children's faces before publishing.